In this video, we demonstrate how to perform dynamic aspergillus skeletal MANA assay, also known as GM test. Before starting the test, take out the GM test kit from the refrigerator and place at room temperature for 30 minutes. To perform the test, ensure that you have all the required consumables and equipment. Also make sure that the incubator has equilibrated to 37 Celsius and turn on the water bus, centrifuge, as well as the plate reader. Sample preparation. Slowly add 300 microliters of serum samples into the centrifuge tubes followed by adding 100 microliters of the sample treatment solution into each tube. Rinse the pipette tips for 2 to 3 times with reagents before dispensing. Vortex the mixture for about 10 seconds. Place the centrifuge tubes in boiling water for 3 minutes. Adjust the position of the centrifuge tube in the floating rack to avoid the water coming into the tubes. Alternatively, place the centrifuge tubes in heat block at 100 Celsius for 3 minutes. Take out the centrifuge tubes and centrifuge at 10,000 G for 10 minutes. If you are testing BAL samples, instead of adding 100 microliters of sample treatment solution, just add 400 microliters of samples into the centrifuge tubes and follow the steps as previous instruction. ELISA performing. In the GM test kit, we provide a 96 wells microtita plate coated with antigen galactomana. The amount of samples determine the number of microtita strips required for this test. In this video, two strips were prepared by carefully pushing the edge of the strips without touching the bottom of the wells. Place the strips on an empty rack, seal the rest and store it at 2 to 8 Celsius until next time use. Prepare the washing solution. The concentrated washing solution can be easily diluted to working concentration by combining with the appropriate volume of distilled water. In this test, we use one portion of concentrated washing solution with 19 portions of distilled water. Prior to adding 50 microliters of standards, controls and samples directly to the ELISA plate. Rinse the paper tips with the corresponding reagents for 2-3 to three times before dispensing. The standards were added in order of A to E, followed by adding control A and B to the wells in the same column. Gently prepare 50 microliters of the supernatant from the centrifuge samples without disturbing the precipitation and add to the ELISA plate. Before adding the anti galactomana antibody, place the plate in an angle far away from the initial direction as it can help you to avoid cross-contamination. Add 50 microliters of anti galactomana antibody to the plate immediately. Please remember to leave one well for substrate blank. Seal the plate and mix for 10 seconds before incubating at 37 Celsius for 90 minutes. Gently remove the plate sealer and shake out the solution. Add 300 microliters of washing solution to each well and leave it for 40 seconds. Please ensure that the washing solution was transferred to the corresponding wells since the cross-contamination among wells can cause false positive results. Completely remove all the liquid from each wells by tapping the plate firmly on clean absorbent paper. Repeat this step for three times. Here are some tips for the users of microplate washer. First, please ensure that the pipes and needles are clean and smooth for washing step. Second, only use provided washing solution from Dynamica GMSA. Third, tap the plate firmly on clean absorbent paper until no liquid remaining in the wells after each washing. 
Add 100 microliters of conjugate in each well, except the substrate blank well. This step also can be easily achieved by using a multi-channel pipette. Keep in mind that the volume of the reagent in reservoir should be 10% greater than the exact volume that you would like to transfer to the ELISA plate. Rinse the tips with the reagent to ensure that all the tips are pipetting at equal volume before adding into the valves. Seal the plate and incubate in the incubator at 37 Celsius for 30 minutes. Wash the plate as previous instruction. After the final wash, add 100 microliters of substrate solution in each well, including the substrate blank well. Again, if you are using a multi-channel pipette, prepare 10% extra reagent in the reservoir. Rinse the tips and make sure there is no leakage of the reagent occurred. Incubate the plate in dark at 37 Celsius for 15 minutes. Stop the reaction by adding 50 microliters of stopping solution. After stopping the reaction, the ELISA plates should be assessed within 5 minutes in the microplate reader for absorbance at 450 nanometers. Data analysis. As you can see here, each cell in this sheet represents an absorbance measurement that corresponds to a standard or a sample on the ELISA plate. The first eight cells on the left column are the standard curve and control groups, and the other column is the absorbance of our samples. Open the Dynamica Experiment Result Management System and select the Dynamica Aspergillus Galactomena assay as the product name. Copy the absorbance in Excel and paste the data in Result Management System. Click Curve Fitting will help you to construct a standard curve, as you can see in the diagram. 